Good time of day, ladies and gentlemen, and I would like to thank organizers for having provided this opportunity uh, to present our results on uh, synthesis and uh, properties of unnatural amino acids that we have having at Inamin. So uh, the outline of my presentation will include uh, some introduction about inamine. Then I will turn to uh, spirocyclic amino acids, the use of other bicyclic systems to design amino acids, some fluorinated, some fluorine containing amino acids, and then finish with outline. So inamine is a company proud, which is privately owned and it was established in 1991 in Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, now we have uh, more than 700 synthetic chemists, about 100 biologists in a separate unit, Bienta. Despite our company is uh, focused on pharmaceutical industry and providing services for them, uh, we are 100% service-oriented and we do not have our own drug discovery research. The best description of Inamin is as, uh, combining three aspects, that is research institution, chemical supplier, and contract research organization. As a research institution, Inamin does a lot in uh, science, in chemistry and biology. We have a lot of internal scientific projects. We publish a lot in the scientific journals, uh, nearly 100 articles annually we reach this much. And uh, we have a lot of collaborative research product, projects funded by European and American agencies also, we support chemical education through our charity foundation at schools at university level. As a chemical supplier, we have uh, the world's largest commercially available building block collections in stock. Uh, currently, we are approaching 300,000 compounds, and the uh, vast majority of them were made internally at Inamin, uh, and uh, nearly 1,000, uh, more than 1,000 is added uh, each month. This is used to build our very large screening compound collection, collection which exceeds 4 uh, million compounds recently. These compounds also are made exclu most exclusively at Inamin, and this, uh, are the, this is the largest, the world's largest collection which is available commercially. We also propose uh, made and demand compounds that can be readily synthesized from our building blocks. Uh, that is includes that includes real compounds, uh, which are uh, pot potential screening compounds that can be synthesized with high synthesis success rate, and made on demand building blocks, uh, over one billion database that can be delivered in one two month. All these services, all these. All these uh, capabilities are intertwined and combined and connected, and they are used to build our chemical and biology services, so to promote our contract research organization role. So why amino acids, why natural amino acids can be interested? Of course, they can modulate properties of peptides when introduced, introduced into their molecules, but uh, this uh, role is quite important, of course mostly for academic purposes, but they are also very promising building blocks for drug discovery, since they combine two most common functional groups in medicinal chemistry, amino and carboxylic functions. Therefore, we have put a lot of efforts into this area and over 20 years, we have all the, over 20 years of research in this area at Inamin. Typically, we use one of three approaches, uh, yeah, that is conformational restriction, fluorination, or isosteric replacements. I will not will not be talking about the last one, or combination combination of thereof. At this slide, you can see some examples of amino acids that were uh, synthesized at inamine, and uh, then or simultaneously were introduced into drug or potential drug compounds. I'll start with paracyclic glutamate analogs. This project has started in. Uh, mid 2000s when we synthesized these two nice uh, spirocyclic amino acids uh, with topology A. Uh, then we extended this stereo library to all possible uh, spiro 33 heptane derivatives. 
and uh, put much effort into their synthesis with that what was finished in 2022. For the last two chemotypes that were published in uh, this year, uh, in that year, uh, we developed a strategy which was based on the Stryker Stryker reaction to introduce the amino acid mo molecule, and the second to the cyclobutane ring was planned to uh, underlay to uh, this ketoester derivative, which is unfortunately it's unfortunately unstable. So we used a synthetic equivalent thirty two to achieve these synthetic goals, uh, and uh, this compound in turn can be easily synthesized for the from known, intermi known intermediate 33. For the striker reaction, we uh, employed almond sulfinamide and chiral auxiliary, which allowed diastereomer separation at the corresponding steps. For the topology C, we relied on K10 uh, 2 plus 2 cyclo addition, namely with dichlorocatan, and then uh, functional group and some functional group transformation to obtain the target molecules. In the case of topology D, uh, the same starting material was, uh, after several steps, subjected to main oxyrand arrangement to obtain the corresponding cyclobutanones. These co compounds already existed as mixture of diastereomers, but they can, could be easily separated and then transformed into the necessary amino acids. In total, uh, we could obtain uh, 16 out of 18 theoretically possible isomers of these nice glutamic acids. Only two of them could not be obtained in, to, in, in a free form. These are shown on this slide. This is because uh, amino and carboxylic food function in their molecules are located quite close and easily undergo in the intramolecular lactam formation. We have tested the obtained uh, compounds against glutamate retzimaza. Uh, uh, but isolated from bacterial sources we, together with um, the group of Professor Ashley Spice from USA and found that many compounds had millimolar activities. This is not too much, of course, but uh, these compounds can be very promising as stereochemical probes for these biological targets and other related targets that can uh, involve glutamate as they are different. We also put some efforts into synthesis of simpler spirocyclic amino acids, that is all uh, theoretically possible amino acids having six or seven uh, carbon atoms in the spirocyclic systems. So we used two general approaches here. One of them was based on very simple cursus rearrangement to uh, of the corresponding monoesters shown here. So we obtained two compounds using this approach. And an alternative approach was based on uh, hidden to information and then it's hydrolysis to, to provide the target amino acids. So the corresponding spirocyclic ketone, ketones were the compounds. For this series, we have uh, determined the isoelectric points and pKa values for each of the functional groups. And it was found that in most cases, uh, the pK, uh, the isoelectric point and pKa values are only slightly diminished as, as compared to the uh, monocyclic compounds. This effect was uh, especially considerable for uh, the uh, cyclopropane derivatives. And you can see that uh, while monocyclic derivatives are on the par with valine, for example, in terms of electroelectric point, uh, the sparocyclic derivatives, derivatives can mimic methionine or even asparagine as, uh, in terms of uh, their uh, acid, acid base properties. And we have shown that this is more mainly to the changes in the uh, basicity of the amino group and not the carboxylate function. We have also obtained to uh, try to obtain some spirohexane derivatives, and we have found that this is quite possible through the uh, cyclopropanation of the corresponding cyclobutane uh, 14. Unfortunately, the, the target compound was obtained as a mixture of diastereomers, and we uh, performed transformation of several functional group. Uh, unfortunately, on all these steps, diastereomers separation was not possible, uh, up to the corresponding monoprotected uh, amino acid derivatives. Nevertheless, after the cursus rearrangement, we could obtain the corresponding di uh, orthogonally protected diamines, and they were separable by chromatography on up to gram scale. And after selective day protection, we could uh, achieve synthesis 
of monoprotected diamine building blocks, which are very valuable for uh, use in early drug discovery. Interesting effects were found by X-ray analysis, X-ray diffraction studies. But one of these isomers of the synthesized amines, we have found that the crystal structure mimics better terms uh, as, as in uh, peptides. For, whereas for another isomer, extended better sheet-like structure was observed. Therefore, these compounds can uh, have can have potential for the synthesis of peptidomimetic compounds. A part of spirocyclic ring system, we also tried to uh, design and synthesize some bridged and fused uh, bicyclic uh, amino acids. In particular, we have synthesized this nice uh, uh, isonipicotic acid analogs. The case step of the reaction sequences in, sequence included alkylation, double alkylation of malonate with uh, this azitidine derivative derived uh, bismazolate. And after the, 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 the decarboxylation, a mixture of uh, corresponding diastereomeric monoprotected nipicotic acids were obtained. They were separated on a quite a large scale, I should notice. And again, by extract de facto fraction studies, we could show that uh, these compounds can mimic piperidinrin in various conformations, whereas one isomer is similar to uh, somewhat distorted three-dimensional chair conformation. Another one uh, fixes piperidine in both conformation, which is quite uncommon and quite unusual. Uh, we also synthesized uh, some nice, nice uh, gamma amino acids derived from the uh, bicycle 210 uh, pentane or Hausen derivative uh, scaffold. In this case, we started with compound 5. This ester was subjected to electrophilic functionalization of the double bond, for example, with via iodo acidation. And then uh, intramolecular, intramolecular uh, you know, that alkylation followed, so that bicyclic system was formed, and this, a single diastereomere of compound was obtained. To obtain another diastereomere, we have performed this reaction sequence shown on the left, that is uh, bromohydroxylation. Uh, hydroxyl group protection, uh, cyclization step, and deprotection, and finally, mycinogel uh, reaction, which proceeded with inversion of configuration. Both diastereomeres were transformed into corresponding amino acids that were subjected to chromatographic separation using chiral stationary state, so that four enantiomers of the corresponding, four the stereoisomers of the corresponding gamma amino acid and uh, GABA analog were obtained this, uh, on a subgram scale. The third approach that was, uh, the second approach that was used uh, in our design of non-natural amino acids is fluorination, and we have done quite a lot in this area. I will show only several uh, recent examples. So we synthesized this nice tetrafluorinated GABA analogs, which is GANALA, which is uh, easily accessible from uh, this commercially available uh, diol. And the synthesis, as you can see, is quite simple and quite straightforward. It includes some functional group transformation, in fact. So monoprotection, then in introduction of amino function, then uh, deprotection and selective, uh, selective oxidation. We had some problems with this step, but nevertheless found the optimal conditions. So that the target compound could be obtained. And we studied this tetrafluorinated analog quite thoroughly. So we demonstrated that this compound uh, is obviously much less basic and more acidic at the amino and carboxylic function, respectively, uh, through uh, PK determination, which is, of course, obviously due to a fluorination effect. And we also have started some conformational, uh, provided, provided some conformational analysis for, the, for this compound, both in solid state and in solution, and found that uh, some conformers are quite similar to uh, those conformation of GABA that uh, did been, been selectively to uh, its uh, different receptor subforms. We also prepared a series of uh, alpha and beta prolines containing CF3 group. For that, we started with uh, pyrrole derivatives and then used its hydrogenation. Thus, for example, compound four 
was uh, subjected to a Wismeyer Haag reaction. And after that, oxidation of the aldehyde group. That the first step, this mixture of compounds was obtained, but they were easily separated, and the target compound was a major one here. So we obtained the corresponding carboxylic acid and then transformed it into, into bisprotected derivative 20 that was used at the hydrogenation step to obtain compound uh, with 2,5 substitution. We started to, again with compound 4, but in this case, lithiation was used, and then carboxylation of the organolithium species provided the target uh, carboxylic acid. In the case of compound uh, with 2,3 the, the substitution, we uh, started with pyrrole uh, already containing carboxylic function and subjected this to trifluoromethylation. After that, protection of the nitrogen atom was performed. And all three uh, final compounds were su successfully subjected to hydrogenation and then deprotection to provide the corresponding alpha or beta prolines. In the last case, the hydrogenation step was not dextrose selective, but this provided us both isomers of the corresponding proline methyl ester in, in good quantities. We use similar proline analogs to obtain uh, these compounds in an antipure form. It's some somewhat different reaction sequence was used to obtain uh, the starting materials here. But then after formation of chiral dusteromeric amides, they were so separated with quite good efficiency. And after the hydrolysis of the amide, amide moiety, we have obtained model depertides. This one done, was done to evaluate the effect of the chloral pill substituent on, on the uh, plasma stability of the compounds. And you can see that whereas for uh, S proline introduction, uh, the uh, fluorinated group in the transposition even decreased the stability of compound, all other isomers were remarkably stable to what enzymatic hydrolysis in plasma in these biological experiments. We also combined the, the aforementioned two trade strategies to obtain uh, novel, novel and interesting amino acids building blocks for drug discovery. So we uh, used fluorination and uh, introduction of bicyclic or monocyclic grid system. So conformational restriction to obtain uh, these nicely uh, designed uh, spirocyclic compounds containing one or several fluorine atoms. This uh, didifluoro or three fluoromethyl substitutes to form methanoprolines. This cyclobutane containing monofluorinated uh, gamma amino acids analogs, and as well as uh, uh, Methanonipicotic derivative bearing additional fluorine atom. Uh, I will not stop uh, at the, I will, I will not give you more details about the synthesis, but if you are interested in that, you can refer to the corresponding publications uh, published through recent years. Before fi finalizing my talk, I would like to draw your attention to a uh, somewhat different area of our research uh, that is uh, pseudo natural products. This design concept was proposed by Professor Waldman from uh, University of Dortmund. And uh, he's, he had been pursued natural product like and uh, uh, pseudo natural products uh, for a while. So, we, together with their group, we have performed analysis of our stock collection. At that moment, three and five, 3.5 million compounds and identified over 1 million of pseudo-natural products there. So the pseudo-natural products are the compounds that are obtained by uh, combining scaffolds of natural products, uh, namely fragments of the natural product scaffolds, uh, to give some scaffolds that are not observed in nature uh, per se. So these compounds uh, are quite promising from the biological activity viewpoint, and we have proved that, that by some cell patent assays experiments and found quite a lot of biologically active compound there. We have also performed a scaffold analysis uh, regarding the uh, system connection times. And on this slide, you can see some examples of these pseudo natural products that were found in our collection. With that, I would like to send 
to all people who were involved uh, into these uh, projects, the, the aforementioned projects. Uh, there were too many of them to, to mention all of them properly, but I'd like to highlight uh, the group of Anton Cherny, who did uh, a significant part of this research. Uh, and I would like also to thank Professor Tomachev for his encouragement and support, Professor Weidman, Spice, and Kauka, who were involved uh, into some of this project, and of to armed forces of Ukraine. Without them, this research would not be possible. And with that, I would like to thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, please contact our sales representatives, or you can direct, contact directly me uh, through my webpage. There, there, there is a lot of interesting information for you. Thank you very much.